Open Graxpert and load the stacked image. Apply a crop on the edges. Background extraction. Galaxy pops up a little bit. Let's fix the stars. Denoise the image. Impressive denoising for a free program. Let's move to Serial for further processing. Color calibration. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Let's move on. Remove any green noise that color calibration didn't. Now the fun part begins. Remove the stars. The starless image. First we need one image without blow out the core. First start with a modified stretch. Take a sample of a dark area, not of the background. Apply gentle stretches. Move the sample a little bit and do it one more time. Save this image like the dark one, to keep only the core later. Sixteen bits runs better on Photoshop. And now continue the stretching in the same way. Don't worry about the core. But do not overdo it. Small stretches. And one final stretch on generalized. Play with these settings to make it more sharp. Let's give more life to this galaxy. The background factor keep the image balanced and give saturation only to the galaxy. We can go for one more. You can adjust only in some colors. Let's save it as the bright image. 16 bits again as a teeth. Let's save the stars as a teeth.
and move to Photoshop. Load the three images, dark, bright, and stars. Copy and paste all images to one. Stars on screen mode, CTR plus L to bring up the levels. Cheap optics has chromatic aberration. Let's merge the core. Color range, highlights. Select and mask. Feather it up. Inverse the selection and press this. Adjust the feather until it looks natural. Bring back the stars to have a realistic view. When you are done, disable the stars and press Alt plus C, T, R plus Shift plus E to merge the bright and the dark. Some touches on camera raw filter. Don't be scared to play with these settings until it feels right to your eyes. Do no overdo the sharpness, we have another step for that later. Vraxpert did amazing work on denoise, so a little bit of color noise reduction. Small touches on vibrance and saturation. See the before and after. Final steps, rotate as you want. If you like this, you can let it like that. I will go one step further. CTR plus J to duplicate layer of starless. Sharpness and unsharp. other and high pass. Play with these settings a little bit. Change the opacity to soft light. Adjust the opacity percent until it looks natural. Alt plus C, T, R plus Shift plus E to merge the layers. Let's correct the lens issues. Use the healer. Let's remove the most of the chromatic aberration.
not perfect, but better than before. It is what it is. Cheap optics. Never mind, crop it if you want. Let's reveal more colors. Only on the Starless. We can go a bit further. Don't make it unreal with full of colors. Before and after. I think it's almost ready. Alt plus C, T, R plus Shift plus E. Let's balance the image. Pick any color that you want to give a final touch. It doesn't make any huge difference, but it gives an extra color. And it's done. Alt plus C, T, R plus Shift plus E to merge the layers. Save it as a T for big resolution or JPEG for sharing on social. If you want to edit this image, you can download it from my Patreon. From this image. To this image. And also you can support me from the Astro One tier with only one per month to edit all my projects.